is a 200 million shillings undertaking in fish farming in Bushenye district that demonstrates the determination but also support that is needed for fully fledged fish farmers to establish themselves. We have a number of tall ponds, but majorly we have stocked nine with the, the tilapia single six, which was provided to us by NADS. They gave us one, 120,000 fish fingerlings, which are six reversed with another support of 4.5 tons of feeds from Kafika. Serious fish farming is by nature capital intensive, especially at inception, but it's also a high return enterprise once one determines to invest in it. For this fish farm, external support from government through agencies like NADS saved them money in the excess of 100 million shillings, meaning that from the 200 million overall invested, they expect to reap twofold, or about 400 million shillings, from five tons of fish. So as NADS, we, we have been supporting fish farming, but of course on a small scale, because first of all, not many farmers have the ability and knowledge to manage fish farming. Fish farming, as you have seen here, is a highly skilled uh, enterprise that needs to be entered into with care. You have heard the testimony from this young man here, the level of investment, the level of skill that is required into this project. So as NADS, we have been supporting fish farming carefully. First of all, we have to assess the ponds. We have the technical experts who assess the ponds the water quality, uh, the size of the ponds before we support uh, the farmers. NAD's intervention for fish farmers is on for inputs like fish fry and the feeds, but the farmer is responsible for the infrastructure of the farm, including ponds and the entire plumbing system. Depending on where one builds the ponds, snakes and frogs are one of the key challenges for this business, which can be fixed by employing catfish that eats from tadpoles and planting tobacco around the farm that deters snakes.